to force him farther outside into the arms of Grandlin. Also on FODLTV.com tonight, you'll be able to watch this game a little later on in the evening. Actually, watch a little bit of the handing out of the pistol. Hand off uh, right there to Dorman. He runs right into three or four St. Mary Springs Ledgers. Patrick Solder was in there. Also, Dan Zachro, also Matt Austin. You name them, they were there. And they were tackling both the quarterback and the running back. This one wide to the left. Henderson's going to throw. Loses his footing. He's going to load it on the near side. Caught by Felder. Turns it across the 25. Big block on the 30. Felder still in his feet. The 40. There he goes. Across the 45. Up to the 49 yard line. Is that Matt Austin that laid the wood to somebody? He's definitely in the slot. Henning going to run the option to the left. He thought about picking it up, but then he just uh, ate it because Dan Zachary was right in his face mask, and he's going to lose about five. Honestly, that's a good play by Henning because had he pitched it either way, it was the option where you can go outside or inside, kind of like a forward pitch. Had he let the ball leave his hands, that would have been a turnover for eight-yard line. Henderson's going to throw, tries to toss it up to Felder, he's got it at the 15-yard throw, 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 he's got it just a fader out towards the far post, and then Felder not stepping out of bounds either as he was being hit. That's a nice touchdown play. Nice pass. in the wheelchair after he had hip surgery so good to see him back at fruit as kml's got a second and 12 and they are going to a throw pass on the near side looking for shealy he got his head taken off pass is low grandlick and it'll be third long so coach highland still looks like he's still talking a good game down there decent snap Good kick. This is going to be returnable, though. Felder's going to take it at the 45. Returns to the near side. He's got the 50. 45. Oh, there goes Owen Felder. What man to beat? 30. Cuts it back to the 12. Oh, Bruce Lee takes it. Oh, Bruce Lee. 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 might be the most exciting player that I have ever seen in high school football. He broke about 12 tackles on that play. He got some blocking too. Let's not discredit the rest of his special teams crew. All right. Felder's back to uh, punt Gould. Stands at his 25. And it, it is a fake. Felder's going to tuck it down at the 40. Breaks through. He got the first out. at the 50. Eric Felder across the 50 down to the 42-yard line. That was a that was a, a, a punt, a fake punt option, I think. He was going to either do a running punt that if he saw the hole there, just take off, but he did Eric Felder move the chains. Yeah, I think that's trust from his coaching staff that you give a young player like that the option. And he read the defense perfectly. Watching the replay, everyone was going back. There wasn't a lot of pressure, so it was a good job by the line. And that's what that... that style or Australian style punt can do for you. Gonna throw the fade on the far side of the field looking for Grandlick makes a spectacular catch at the 25. The 10 the 5 touchdown St. Mary Springs. What a catch from Ryan Grandlick and the Ledgers on the board again. That was a 42 yard strike. Honestly Wade that pass should have been intercepted because right there in perfect position was I believe Michael uh, Losher for the Chargers. He just didn't turn around to locate the ball. Had he turned around to locate the ball, that was right in his hands. Grand Lake went up and got it instead, and he's walking in the end zone. To each side, two to the near side, one to the far, and he's going to throw up fake. Now he's going to tuck it down, trying to tuck it down again, and down he goes. Sacked right there in the backfield for St. Mary Springs. That was Kyle Weber. And that was a coverage sack because looking the entire way, Henny was looking to the near side, but Dianovich 
and uh, Schneider had blanket coverage on the two receivers to the near side. And they're going to take the snap, handoff left side to Ward, turns it to the outside, Darren Ward, 40, 35, Ward steps through one tackle, he's at the 20, Darren Ward gets knocked out of bounds at the 15, I think he stepped out of bounds right near the 19, though, on the far side of the field, they'll still move the chains in the legend. yard line I make it the nine can't really see the field right now it's raining so hard but uh, they're working off the far hash Henderson under center going to run the option to the near side he's going to hand off to Mitch Heron right up the middle touchdown St. Mary Springs Mitch Heron gets into the act with 25 seconds left in the half put another one on the board Did you give him officially nine yards what'd you call that I couldn't tell I give him ten you give him ten all right we'll give him ten most versatile playground we've ever met. We wanted one that would be fun for the kids, one that would let schools and parks make the best use of their space, while setting the stage for future growth. The only playground of its kind with BCI Burke's total cost of ownership package and non prorated generations warranty, we've never created a playground this exciting. going to go wide to the right to the near side. It's Joslin. But Heron and Floyd the backfield this time. From the option, you can play fast up over the middle. It's going to be caught to, up over the top by Schneider, and he's going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, St. Mary Springs. Excellent play call there by the Ledgers. They have run play action all night, and they do it right there and right down the seam. 36 in the yardage. 37. Don't put the yardage up on the board. I'll get on pitch ready for that. Throw the yard there on.